So non-invasive area is a kind of new area in movement disorders. There are still many issues to solve. You know, the, the patients, the, the, the criteria to include these patients, the, the protocols, and how long we are going to, to, to stimulate this patient. What's the, the long-term effect? So there, there are more, you know, questions than, than answers. And maybe now with more uh, mode center studies, analyzing more a specific set of symptoms and not too broad uh, uh, criteria, but we have to, to start looking at specific symptoms of Parkinson's disease that are unmet need to treat, for example, gait and cognition and psychosis and depression. And then we have to study these patients, the, the, the after effects of simulation. So uh, it's not just simulation, but what happens with the brain uh, over the, 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 the weeks following the simulation. This is one point, the, the after effects. The other is maybe you understand that the brain state before simulation, as I mentioned, for functional MRI or EEG, to, to be to be better predictable or to, to be more precise in simulation these patients. And the other thing that we have to, to put in our mind is that maybe non invasive simulations is not the, you know the cure or is not the only uh, uh, thing that is uh, are going to 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 be in the treatment of that patient, but it's an adjuvant therapy or add-on therapy to the rehabilitation. And, and that's one point that are going to, you're going to see over the, the, the next clinical trials. You have to associate the non-invasive simulation with rehabilitation, for example, treadmill or, or bicycle training, comparing to the rehabilitation alone. And our question is whether you add a non-invasive simulation before you go to the, the, the training, the exercise training, this is better than the training alone. And this is the future. If you can enhance the, the, you know, the brain activity, the cell activity before the training, and then the outcome is going to be better. That's our hypothesis that you need to, to, to test in future trials.